women have read it. What do you think would be the worst thing about being a man? The constant pressure in society that the man has to pay for meals, drinks, etc. I feel like it all would add up really quickly. It 100% does. But there's no outlet for that pressure. We just have to suck it up. Feeling uncomfortable or shamed for showing your emotions. It's a sad truth. But since the dawn of time, men have been encouraged to live up to the expectations of having to be tough or being a rock for the family. As a woman, I think we feel more comfortable crying and expressing our sadness. Men get sad too. And it's about time they feel free to express it as easily as women do. Having to be the person physically in charge in a threatening situation. Like always being with a man when walking home from a party in a sketchy area at night. Yes there is safety in numbers, but the dude is expected to be protective regardless of level of awareness, self-defensive, or drunkenness. That's a lot of pressure. I've been in situations where a woman in my group talked a lot of speak to some fairly scary characters. Something she presumably wouldn't do if no men were with her. Not cool. Edit. Silver. Thanks. A bit more about the most memorable one. About 22 years old. We've all been drinking and are walking at night near the Tijuana border in San Diego. Woman in my group is from the east coast. Starts mouthing off randomly to a van full of obvious actual gang members. They roll by with the side door open. Real slow and real close. I didn't even dare to look up. But I guarantee there were multiple guns pointed at us. Her excuse. I didn't think there were gangsters on the west coast. Girl have you never heard of insert multiple west coast gang movies here. I know and hate this kind of women. After speep gets real. They are hiding behind the men. My bf once was at a concert with his sister and her female friend. The girls got in trouble with another group of two girls and two guys. They just the four girls started provoking each other, talking smack and threatening to beat up their counterpart. My boyfriend just asked the two guys if they wanted to grab a beer and they instantly became brothers. The girls weren't amused. They didn't beat each other up because they expected the men to do so. Greatest perk of being a guy. Instant friends wherever we go, so long as we have access to beer. Babe. I can't hit him now. I've shared a beer with this man. We are practically brothers now. Oh. You got stuck taking care of the kids today. Huh. Giving mom a day off. Finally? Dads know what I'm talking about. Edit. Well. That blew up. Glad to see I'm not crazy. It's interesting to see the scattered few people say omg people don't actually talk like that. And then see hundreds of other folks confirm that. Yeah, people do say that speep. I was a stay at home dad until my daughter went to kindergarten. This hit me deep in the soul. I've been accused of being a child predator while reading a book on a park bench while my daughter plays. Have had the cops called on me when my daughter and I were just walking down the street two blocks from my own home and have been generally looked down on even by family members while I was a stay at home parent. The giving mom a day offline is just emotionally crushing sometimes when it's said. Edit. Thank you for the platinum. Thank you all very much for the kind words and the discussions had about this. Edit too. Thank you for the silver and gold as well. You spoil me. My daughter is 7 now, and things like these haven't happened in quite a while. We actually just had a wonderful trip to the grocery store today. You all are wonderful people, and I thank you for the kind words. This reply hurts me deeply that any human in society would act like that. Seriously guys. He is also a parent. If he wants to spend time with his kids let him. People expecting that I could fight. Ex-girlfriend chatting speak to some scary guy on a train who was acting out and then just turning to me with a are you going to let him speak to me like that? Look on her face when she pissed him off enough. Dude would have peeped me up if I wasn't so good at being diplomatic. A.H.H. The Negotiator. That's my favorite move in a fight. The all no. Thanks. Yo man. You wanna fight? What I want is an honest and open discussion about why we are all so upset. Not being able to take care of children without getting dirty looks. Edit. 
Holy moly guacamole. Thanks for all the replies and my first silver and stuff. This is true. I'm a dad of three, and I work from home, so I pick up the kids after school ECT. It is hard for my kids to get their friends' parents to let them come over and play if my wife isn't home too. Pretty disappointing for me to see my kids wonder what is going on. They don't get it. If it was just my wife home with the kids they wouldn't bat an eye. I have four myself. Have you gotten to the magical number of kids that creates some weird timeline where old people walk up to you and just give you money? Because I'm in that timeline and it's wild. Probably the stigma. I've seen a single father get shouted at for being with his kid when at a park for trying to kidnap children. The dude wanted to make his son happy, not molest him ffs. I was fishing at a park today, and some 8 year old kid who was alone came up to me, and showed me, that he broke his line off in the water. He didn't have any extra tackle, so I gave him a new jig and hook tied it on for him and everything. It was the cheapest reel and line I've ever seen so his folks must have just picked it up at Walmart and said here go fish. He wanted to fish with me after that. I didn't want to tell him to get lost because he was looking up to me at that point. So I said sure, if you want to. The entire time I was having a mini panic attack waiting for the kid's parents to show up and kick my ass or something. The kid was super sweet and kept trying to impress me by telling me all the huge fish he caught. Eventually he went away, and his folks showed up, and as I was leaving he pretended not to know me, and quickly gave me a stealthy wave. I shouldn't be afraid to help a kid out like that. It's kind of equally sad, that the kid knew he couldn't just be friendly to you in front of his parents, even if it was clever and helpful of him. Like, weirdly self-aware for an 8 year old. He was probably afraid of getting yelled at for talking to a stranger. My mother always told me not to take fish from strangers. I would not be allowed a moment of weakness. Bad day. You can't cry unless your mother just died. Hurt yourself. Suck it up and go to the hospital. Feeling self-conscious about your body? Nobody cares. Feeling ill? So moan how SMRN cold. I found out my mom was dying from cancer two weeks before she did she kept it from me. I was still sad two weeks later, and my ex-wife told me I needed to stop sanctifying her because we always had problems and argued often, and I kept thinking about the happy times I had with her. Being expected to be more effective at physical labor. Being expected to do more dangerous work. Receiving less empathy when struggling with emotional issues. My wife literally came home one night and told me she was leaving for another man took my money, and filed for divorce. She also took, and kept the dog. I was allowed one day off from work to deal with it, our court date. If I even slightly mentioned it, people would go silent. And it's six months later and everyone expects me to be completely over it. It's torture. Edit. I really didn't expect this to get so much attention. I broke down and cried last night when I saw how many people messaged me and offered to give me their numbers or to be a shoulder to lean on. Jesus man. You got some brothers to lean on. All brothers can hang. Not all can be leaned on. The plight of the male. This resonates with me lol. Being arrested for defending myself against an abusive partner. When I was in high school. My dad got remarried to a woman with a ton of emotional baggage. She was verbally abusive. And would start fights with anyone who would take the bait. They got in an argument one night. And she started to shove him. He put his hands in his jacket pocket. So that there could be no confusion of him hitting her. When he refused to engage. She told him she would kill his kids in their sleep. He called the cops. They came. Listened to the story. And my dad went to jail. She was alone in the house with all of my siblings I was out of town that night. My dad is a big teddy bear. I've never seen him in trouble with the law until that night. I got him out of jail the next day. And then worked with him to send my younger siblings. To live with my mom in Utah. And I got an apartment with my next youngest brother. He had a criminal record for having his. And his children's lives threatened. That was really f peeped up. Edit. Wow. I head out to karaoke for the night, and come home to find a huge response on reddit. Thanks for all of the kind words. 
Guys. We are all much better off today. This was 16 years ago, so we've had a lot of time to grow and move on. My dad is doing very well for himself and has been remarried 14 very fulfilling years. I said this in another comment below, but if you asked him today, he would probably tell you his life has never been better. We're all doing very well today. Peep that. No one would bat an eye if you said you were sexual assaulted or harassed. Edit. Thank you for the silvers. Whomever gave it to me. Edit. I see that two people didn't understand what I meant. So to be more specific. If you were a male. And you were a victim of sexual harassment or you were a victim of sexual assault and you went to go tell someone what happened to you. Chances are that you will be ignored. Because society stereotypes think you're just lying. And all males like being touched. Which is horse beep. With all the news articles I see about women being raped. I ask myself. What about the males? Sexual assault doesn't have a gender. It should be taken seriously for both genders. I feel this one. Recently the women that Miles Ted both myself. And five other kids. That we know of at least one being a friend of mine even to this day. Passed away. This vile bitch tried to circumcise me with fabric scissors. Bite my penis. And threw me against a wall. My friend doesn't even like to talk about what happened to him. Did she go to jail? Nope. Did she have to do community service? Nope. Did she even get put on a registry? Nope. After six kids came forward talking about this, she got off scot-free. Wasn't even told to stop working with kids. The daycare center itself decided to let her go however. And I'm called an asshole when I said I'm glad she died.